Okay, in this video I want to look at how to arrange a chord progression. Um, so let's start with a new empty container. So right click, create empty MIDI region, control click. I'm just going to extend this so it's four bars long. Now, on the lesson itself, if I just come over to the lesson, you'll see that I've got this lovely presentation just giving you some ideas about chord progressions. You can flip through these, try some out, mix and match them, see which ones work for you, see which ones don't. What you're really trying to do is create the atmosphere for the piece. So depending on the project that you've chosen, you're really going to want to find out if it's happy, if it's sad, um, if it needs tension. Um, and Different chords and different chord progressions will give you that movement. What we're going to start off with is just working out the pads. Now, a pad is basically something that sustains for over a long period of time, just making very simple changes with very little rhythmic movement. We will bring rhythm into it, but we'll do that a bit later on. I just I just feel it's a very good progressional thing to start with the atmosphere and build up from that, especially since we've already got our sound effects in place. Strings is a very good place to start. So if we look here, I've just set up a string pad, same as before, just come over. I've chosen these pop strings, and I've chosen this um, ensemble set. It's a nice instrument sound. But, you know, feel free to experiment with, with ones you want. Generally, for pads, strings work very well. So, let's do this. The chord progression I've chosen is very similar to this runaround pattern. I ha I've, but I've mixed and matched it. I haven't kept it the same. So, I've actually, for this, for this particular section, I've dropped the G. Um, and I've gone D minor as my starting chord. F, C, and then back to D minor. And later on, I'll move on to G and I'll move on to F and I'll, and I'll do some other bits and pieces but it's a really good starting point. Okay so we've got this rather than playing it in I'm just going to type it in. If you want to use the tools you use the escape button on your keyboard the ESC button and it brings up all these tools and if you just want to draw in your notes just come down to this pencil and you can start drawing them in. Now C3 is middle C okay so let's just type that in first. So the first chord we're going to look at is D minor. So the first note we want is D. Okay, and I do want it to last for a bar. And I'm going to make each change a bar long. So um, the next note up on the D minor is F and then A. Okay, so here's my first chord. So here, here it sounds all together. That sounds really nice, but you're going to want to use some arranging skills in this. It's called orchestration. It's, it's just how you develop it. What we've got there is, is a root position chord, and we, we're going to want to make that more involved. And what I like to do is just spread the notes out. So this is our root position. So the first thing I might do is take this middle chord. I still want to make it an F, but I'm going to put the F on top. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm just going to move the F all the way up. And let's see how that is. You can see there's quite a nice spread between the notes now. If I undo that, let's see what it sounded like before. It's quite a full bodied sound. And I'm also going to want to put a drone underneath it. So I'm going to use for the drone, I'm going to use the root note again. I'm going to put it on a different channel. So right click or control click, create MIDI, empty MIDI region. And then let's do a drone. Now, for the drone, it wants to be the root note of the chord. So in this case, my chord is D minor, so it wants to be a D. And it wants to be low down in the register. So remembering that C3 is middle C on the keyboard, we're going to start looking down here at C2, which is our lower register. So let, let's put that in. Now, I haven't chosen an instrument, so let's just have a little look, see if we can get a nice drone texture. So here I'm trying out a, a synth bass actually. It's going to be quite, quite contrasting to the, the natural string sound that I've got above it, but it should be quite fat, it should be quite nice. Let's just put the next chord in, see what that sounds like. And remember, I'm not fixed to using this fat FM bass. I can change it to whatever I want. If it doesn't work, I can put my notes in and then I can change it, get a better sound. Right, my next chord in this bar A is going to be an F. So let's just type the F in. 
it's got quite a thumpy sound to start off with and it just wires out afterwards, I quite like that but maybe I might want to change it now let's go down to the C and let's go back to D minor so for the drone it's very much about the root note of the chord okay so let's see what that sounds like Cool, so we've got our drone in. Let's go back to the synth strings and let's just put in the rest of our chords. Okay, so we'll put them in, in root position first and then we'll just mix it up. Another thing that orchestrate, orchestrators like to do is put a fourth note in the chord. Because if you think about a string section, you've got actually four, four parts to the section. You've got bass, tenor, alto and soprano. Okay, so we might just want to put in a higher note. So if we've got D down here, we might want to put the D up here, but actually I'm going to go for something like this A note again. And it really is trial and error at this stage. Another tip, of course, is to use less notes. So actually, only use maybe two notes and mix and match it. You're not always fixed in to using all the notes. You know, if you want to build things up, use less and then start adding more in. So maybe in this next one, when I come to the F, I'll use more notes. So here we go, let's have a look at the F. Okay, once again, let's arrange these. So let's take this middle note. So this is root position, just every other note. Let's take this middle note, which is the A, and let's put it on top. See what that sounds like. Okay, now we're going to go to the C. Let's input the C. Take my little note of E. And let's see how that sounds. I'm going to leave them all in. I'm actually going to put a C on top of that as well. Or I could put a seventh note in. I could put the dominant seven in to give a bit of tension. Let's see what that sounds like. And then let's drop it back to the D. So it sounds off key. But following the film, it might work. We'll have we'll bring up the film in just a second and see if it works. <laughs> so let's have a look. It's not too bad, and once again, I can develop that further. Um, but these are my initial ideas. I've got my drone underneath, and I've got my string pad on top and I'm just padding this whole thing out I'm just seeing what chords work and it's a good foundation to have that before moving on to the rhythm so let's just have a look see how that works for this particular section So the cues aren't completely right, but I'm going to mix them up in a little bit. I'm just going to try and find the actual cue point where it actually needs to happen. But I think that seventh chord really works at that particular point. I've also, before um, I started this video, I also did the beginning. So have a little look at the beginning parts I've already done. So exactly the same chords as before. Just took, I've taken the um, root chord and I've just mixed them up a little bit. Um, as you can see, I'm just using three notes for each of the chord on that. Use this lesson to really experiment getting your drone down, getting the right sound for your drone, getting your string pads down, getting the right sound, and experiment with some of the chords in the presentation attached to this lesson.